Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In one of my previous videos, I have showed you how to get data using Web Connector from any Excel file that is placed on SharePoint. But do you know how to get the data from the CSV file that is placed on SharePoint? If not, then this video is for you. And please stay tuned with me till the end of this video if you want to know more. So let's get started. As you can see that right now I have opened my Power BI desktop and we will try to connect with a CSV file that is placed on a SharePoint. You can connect with the file that is placed on SharePoint or that is placed on OneDrive with this method. So what you have to do? Very first, you have to go to your SharePoint or OneDrive where you have placed the file. So over here you can see that this is my SharePoint and in another tab I have my OneDrive. So you can use the same method to get the file from any of these places. Now you have to select your file then you have to select this i button on your right hand side and you have to scroll it down there you will find this path so just copy this one from here once you copy go back to your power bi desktop and over here you have to get data and select this web option that is the web connector and paste it over here now you have to select ok button and probably you are going to get an error message as you can see that on your screen you are getting this error message but generally you have to authenticate yourself before coming to this message all right, so please don't forget to authenticate yourself. Now, whenever you are connecting with Excel, you won't get this message. But if you are connecting with any other format like CSV, PDF or JSON, etc., then you would probably encounter this error message. So how to solve this? Well, for that, you have to click on this edit button. And once you would click on edit button, you would get another option, open file as. Right now, it is Excel workbook, but our file is CSV over here. So simply select your correct file format. Not only that, you can see that there are so many other formats as well, like JSON, text file, HTML page, HTML page legacy, XML tables, PDF, and Parquet. So you have to select the right format over here. Once you select CSV form document and click on OK button, now you can see that it's loading your data over here. So now you can click on this transform tab. Over here, you can transform your data using Power Query. You can even change the table name. Let me change it quickly. Once you change the file name, if you think that there are any other transformations you need to perform, please do perform and then close and apply. After some time, your data is going to get loaded and you can start visualizing your data over here. What do you think about it? Is it good? Is it bad? Please don't forget to share your feedback in the comment section and let us know if you have any question and concern. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.